If you've spent a lot of time doing questions on UWorld and you've noticed that even if you're performing well on UWorld blocks, you tend to not be doing well when you try to do MBME blocks or even when you do UWorld self-assessment or when you sit for any proper exam. Or if you've been doing UWorld for a very long time and you find out that your UWorld looks good, it looks like you're doing a lot of questions on UWorld, but you don't see any improvement. Then congratulations on clicking on this video because in today's video i'm going to share with you five mistakes you are making or probably making in using uword and we are going to look at how you can fix them and we'll take it up from there the first mistake you are probably making is that you do uword in tutor mode a few days ago i was going through a step two students uword and she was scoring pretty good she was 78 very high scores on are you old? And she said, I'm scoring 68, 78, very decent scores. And then I said, okay, let's look at your U word. And I noticed she did almost everything in tutor mode. Now, what's the problem with that? After I saw she did in tutor mode, I told her I really want to just take out 10 points from each of these blocks of U word. The reason is because when you do your U word block in tutor mode, you do one question, you check the answer, you review it, and then you do the next question. Let's say you're doing a block of cardiology. What happens is you see a question on myocardial infarction. You know, you've done your reading. I assume you know what myocardial infarction is. You do that question. You probably miss the question or pick the wrong answer. And then you review it. Five questions down the line, you're going to see another question on myocardial infarction. Now, because you've just reviewed a question on myocardial infarction, you increase the likelihood that you're going to get that other question correct right which automatically skews the outcome of the results on that block so if you get an 80 it's not probably not an 80 it's probably a 60 um if you ask me for that reason never ever ever do you word in tutor mode always do you word in timed mode do it in the designated time and it helps a lot it helps you with time management because you finish a block in one hour and you know you did it in one hour 15 minutes and whatever right you're not doing this i don't know what to call it but when you do exams in tutor when you do your word in tutor mode you just spend a lot of time and you may not get much out of it at the end of the day so that is one the second mistake you may be making is that you do too many questions i have seen students that say oh i can just do five blocks a day four blocks a day three blocks a day depending on the stage of preparation you are at Doing multiple blocks of UWORD in one day is probably not a good idea. You First, you don't get enough time to review properly. Second, you rush through everything and you don't give yourself time to actually internalize the material. And these are very, very important ideas. This is very important. You may think you're rushing, oh, I need to finish up the material. If I finish everything, then it's going to be fine. Da, 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 da. Well, you're going to finish everything quite right. But... Um, by the time you're done with everything, what you're going to discover is that you've actually not been effective in your approach going through um, that resource, right? So that is very important to not do too many questions in a day. Is there any time when it will be okay for you to just do 200 questions? Yes. If you're scoring more than 80% on a block, for example, that means you're failing less than 10 questions per block. You're failing 8 questions per block. Yeah, you could review that block in less than an hour or less than 30 minutes, less than 20 minutes even if you're, because if you're scoring 80% on time mode, I think you're pretty good. So you should be able to review eight questions in a very short time, do another hour, another block review. If you get 80 plus again, you review whatever questions you missed. Yeah, if you're at that point, at that level, it's okay to do many questions. But if you're still starting out, you're still trying to understand concepts, you're still trying to master the material, it's not useful. Don't do 200 questions. You can start with doing a block a day, get comfortable re answering a block of questions and reviewing, and then attempt doing two blocks. The better you get with the concepts, as you get better and better with understanding the resources, then you can start increasing the number of questions you do on any given day. The third mistake you might be making in your preparation for the US Mali is that you're reviewing too quickly. Someone said, oh, I review a block of questions, it takes me less than one hour. It's possible. You can review a block of questions in 20 minutes. I can review a block of questions in 10 minutes because if I do a block of questions, I'll probably fill two to three questions or one question in certain cases. Now, if I miss only one question, I can review that question in one minute, right? But if you do a block of question, I get a 50 plus, a 60 plus. 
there is no point, no value in being in a rush, trying to review it, I need to do that and just run through. If not, you're going to waste that block of question. The goal is this. After you do a block of question, I don't care what you score. You can score 40%, 20%, it doesn't matter. What is important is that after that block, you must review that block extensively. Review the block as quickly as is needed. You usually, to take some people take a whole day to review a block. It's not a problem. If it takes you a whole day and you actually did it well, that is good enough. If you do it in two hours and you just run through everything and I come back and ask you a question from that block and you don't know the answer to that question, you've done everything wrong. So the point is, go through a block of questions, review that block in as much time as it takes. You don't want to take two days to review a block. There's a problem if you're doing that. But you want to be able to review the block just in time, with enough time that you actually master the material, you actually get the hang of the concepts. And if anybody asks you a question from that block, you will be able to answer confidently. After you have reviewed the block, you should be able to tell me something or discuss the concepts from every single question in that block if possible, or at least almost all the concepts. That is when you know that you've actually gained something from the block you have just completed. The fourth mistake you are making is that you're doing mixed blocks too early in your preparation. So I've seen a lot of students and once they purchase your world, they start studying, they start doing mixed blocks. And I'm like, what are you doing? Okay, you're studying GI, you're doing mixed blocks of your world, or even mixed block of GI. Don't do that. If you're going to review your world, if you do a block, if you study something, you study gastroenterology, since we are using gastroenterology, you want to do gastroenterology subject or subject area specific. So you should do a block of pathology by itself, a block of pathophysiology by itself, a block of physiology by itself, a block of pharmacology by itself, two blocks of each of these subject areas. The reason is this, you may do a block of physiology and you get 45 and you do a block of pathology and you get 65. Now you see that gastroenterology, your gastroenterology pathology is pretty good. Your gastroenterology physiology is not very good. So you know that you need to review physiology perhaps, or you need to pay more attention to the physiology. You can do a block of pathophysiology and you perform pretty good. You see, okay, my pathology might be good, but it looks like my physiology is not very good. Okay, and you do a block of pharmacology. My pharmacology may not be very good. You know specific areas you need to fix. I'll tell you something. Students that start out doing mixed blocks, in my experience, are more difficult to get back on track. What I have noticed is once students have started doing mixed blocks, there are a lot of students because they feel like they don't have a lot of time or I need to do this exam in the next six weeks. Kennedy, or the fastest way to go six weeks. I need, I've been, what have you been doing? I've been doing mixed blocks of your world. Oh, I just want to finish your world. The point is not in finishing your world. I have seen people do your world twice and they can't pass the exam. And I have seen people that have not finished your world and they are very ready to pass the exam. Okay, so there are a lot of people, you start out studying, you start doing mixed blocks. Don't ever do that. Study subject-based first, subject-specific first, and then begin to do questions system by system. And within each system, first do questions subject area by subject area. So blocks of pathology, blocks of pathophysiology, blocks of pharmacology, blocks of embryology, histology, anatomy together in most cases. If you're able to do this, you're going to improve quickly and you're going to see progress very quickly as well. If you jump up and you start doing subject by subject, um, mixed blocks and all of that, you're going to find out that your study period is going to become unnecessarily prolonged and your frustrations will be many. Finally, we'll jump into the fifth thing, the fifth mistake a lot of students do, and this one is not, it's really a confidence problem, is they do one question and check the answer. This particular one came up because of a student that I actually have. So uh, this student, I've been preparing her for quite a while. She would score 70 plus on her UWORD blocks. But there was a, a problem. Her confidence began to wane again. She was not sure of herself. And this is a problem we've been dealing with for quite a while. And what she would do is, she would do one question, end the block, check the answer, 
to be sure if she got it right. And then she will do the next, almost like doing it in tutor mode. It becomes tutor mode at that point, right? Because she's scared. Maybe she, she does two, three questions and then she ends the block and goes to check the answers and then continues the block. Please don't do this. She came, she said, I have a confession. Um, actually, when I've been doing this blog, you know what I've been doing? I've been doing it, 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 And I'm like, what? You do one question, you stop it, and you go check the answer. You do another question, you end the blog, you go check if you're right. Please don't do that. That is, it just shows that you don't have confidence in yourself. That's number one. And then what are you doing? You're just wasting time, wasting the you all. I mean, she performed well. She tried. I said, why not give it a try? Try to do a whole blog today. And in fact, what she did was she started a block, but she couldn't stop the urge to go and check if she got the answer right. She went back uh, and then she started a new block. She did the same thing before she finally managed to pull through a block without doing that. And she scored a 78%. A 78%. After doing her low confidence, I don't know, adaptive measure or something, she was finally able to pull it off and i told her you know this stuff you know this material you don't have a, a problem at all i think you're actually doing very great but you need to deal with your confidence so confidence is very important remember and remember with perfect use any q bank is sufficient if you use ambos ambos will be sufficient if you use u word u word can u word is probably the best it will be sufficient if you use the q bank properly with perfect use any Q bank will be sufficient. If you use them wrongly, even if you use all the Q banks, you will still not make progress. Until next time, I'll see you guys again. Subscribe if you've not, hit the like on this video, share with someone that's going to need it, and congratulations on your exams.